Hey, Super Cruisers, it's Kevin and Frank from Cruising with Wheels. That's right, we're back to talk about the island of Martinique. So today we're going to be talking about Martinique, as Frank said, uh, and I think we should start out like we usually do, tell them where it's located. Right. Where, uh, people might never have heard of Martinique. The island of Martinique is an overseas territory of France in the Eastern Caribbean. It is included in the Lesser Antilles island chain. Its nearest neighbors are the island of Republics of Dominica to the northwest and St. Lucia to the south. Guadalupe, another part of overseas France, lies about 75 miles to the north. Martinique is about 50 miles long and a width of about 22 miles. Among the smallest of the French overseas territories, Martinique has one of the highest population densities in the Antilles. The mountainous areas of Martinique take the form of three principal massifs. One is an active volcano, Mount Pelé uh, to the north, the Cabot Mountains in the center, and the Mount Vassilin in the south. Fort de France, the capital of Martinique, is the largest city in the French West Indies. The cruise terminal Port Simon hosts a large promenade of open air markets going towards and into Fort de France's entrance. Visiting the various open air and farmers markets is a tradition in itself. So is exploring the area's distinguished sailing adventures. Its grandest building, the Bibliothèque Scolchère, is a colorful masterpiece by architect Henri Pick. Note to cruisers, United States currently is not accepted in most establishments. The Euro is the preferred currency, and the language mostly used by locals is French. So you're going to Martinique, you're going to be in the capital, Fort de France, and you're wondering, what is there to do? Well, obviously, the first thing people like to do is they like to take scenic tours of the island. Now, you can do that by taking bus tours. Again, a lot of the bus tours are like, you know, maybe two, three, four, five hours. If you're not into that, you can maybe use their public bus transportation. They have free hop-on, hop-off buses. Mm. Free, yeah. You could so, also take a walking tour. Yes, there's a beautiful uh, walking tours that includes like a, a food tour, like food tasting tours. You could go to the city center. Right, right. Uh, it's French. Right. I mean, everything's French, right? It's French. So, ooh la la, we could go <laughs> right. look at the art. That's right, you can do an art tour. Um, go to the park. Mm -hmm. uh, the they're, they're big park there, the, uh, and the again, Place de la, la Savane. La Savane. <laughs> I don't know. Place de la Savane. I'm going to say Savane. that again. It's all French. Uh, it's all so, French to me. Yeah, so there's your island tours, whether it's a formal one or whether it's, uh, it's on your own. Explore the island. My favorite thing to do would be shopping. Yeah, shopping. And apparently there's this huge mall there, and it's the core... Perinon Shopping Center. Again, it's all French. Uh, it's a 215,000 square foot per mall. Perignon. <laughs> I don't know. Perignon. Uh, it's or, like Savignon. Right. Or if the wives and girlfriends or whoever are at the mall shopping, maybe the guys want to go to the Dillon Rum Distillery. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. But I'd be going to the market. Right, right, right. I love the farmer's markets everywhere we go. Grand Marché des Familiers, otherwise known <laughs> as markets. Markets. <laughs> yeah, and there's several uh, big markets there. Uh, but if you're not into the shopping, and again, you want to do a Dave and Darlene kind of day, you're looking at beach and water activities. That's my wave action. Oh, I thought that was like your Dave no. action. Now, um, the beach in Fort de France uh, is the, again, it's French. I'm not, not sure whether I'm saying it right. Well, it's the only beach in the capital. It is the only beach in the capital. Pla 
Plage la Française. Do they stand for beach? French? I don't know. Franchise? I don't know. But it's the only beach in the capital. Uh, and they, But the best beaches, they say, are in southern Martinique, south in the island. And you notice you that I am southern. south, and I'm not poking the table making noise. <laughs> I'm doing my air poke. But there's other things that you could do yeah. uh, for beach and water activities like um, dolphin and whale watch tours. Love that. Uh, boat tours, diving and snorkeling, or for the really adventurous. Yes, I would be adventurous in my head and not in my body, but you can do water skiing and jet skiing. I would do that. You would. Mm -hmm. I'd watch. Now, speaking of adventurous, let's get physical. That's right, because on this island, a huge rainforest, and mm -hmm. you can do hiking tours. Uh, and then, of course, the scary part for me is mm -hmm. that, that active volcano, Mount, Mount Pele. Pele? I'm going to say Pele. Pele? Pele, Pele. Pele. Yeah. Pele. So, yeah, Pele. active volcano. I don't All like of our word. French subscribers are going to uh, rip us are, apart. They are rolling over and going, oh, like, oh, my gosh, take a French class. Uh, Charbet Mountains? I don't know if that's right, but that's wow. in the center of the island. Mount Vauclin is in the south. So, yeah, very mountainous island. Now, I know that you would want to visit some historical sites, which Martinique yes. is not, um, n they have. Right. I, was, I don't know what I was trying to say. Yeah, a lot. And I, I just love They're not bereft. They're not bereft of history. Of history. I love history. That's what I was trying to come love up it, with. Love it, love it, love uh, it. And they have so many things. They have these show. Shosher Library. Shosher. Yeah, I think you said that right quite well. Or, or uh, as we said in the beginning of the video, Saint Louis Bibliothèque. Uh, uh, but it's a library. Right. Uh, then they have the Saint Louis Cathedral. Cathedral. Uh, the Saint. fort. The Fort Saint Louis. Mm -hmm. uh, because again, a lot of these places uh, in the early, early uh, centuries past had all these military forts. They have an archaeology um, and history museum. Right. Uh, they have the Ami Cesare Theater. And this is, is from uh, a famous person. This is a person. <laughs> it's a famous person because it's I a person. Guess, it is. I, I, I wish I had read more about it, but the airport is named after him, Ami oh. Cesare uh, Theater, uh, airport. Yeah, so. They have the Chateau de Buc Ruins. The ruins. It's a cent 17th century estate. Mm -hmm. Love it. Yes. Uh, the Camille de Serre Cultural Center. And the Garden of Balata. That's always good. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I'm saying uh, it kind of Italianized. Right. But, you know, French gardens. Belay. It's I'm, probably Belay. Right. Right. I'm there. Uh, the Pavilion Beaujolais. It's an 1800s architectural home. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot of um, architecture. Sounds like a lot of fun things. Yeah, too. architecture from past centuries, historical sites, libraries. Because there's a lot of stuff to see and do, which would be up my alley. <laughs> so if this video is up your alley, <laughs> we encourage you to click the subscribe button. If you're already a subscriber, please activate that bell. It will get you regular notifications of when our videos go live. We are also on Facebook Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. <laughs> so, if you're interested in Martinique, check it out. But until then, travel safe and cruise often.